This is a very short and simple video to show you some options in click maps and how to change layers using conditions such as selecting a state and going to the next layer. Hello guys! Today I want to talk about one of my favorite topics in Click, which is maps. In the community, if you don't know yet, there is a huge community here to help others and you can learn a lot from it. Patrick is one of the main contributors when it comes to maps, so check out some of his posts. I want to show you some of the tricks and tips when it comes to editing maps. So I have here all the cities from Brazil, but you can use your own country, alright? I will insert here a layer, first an area layer, using state as the layer, the main layer. So when I throw the state here, it automatically populates the location. And as you can see, it didn't find here the one of the states, it's finding here in Mexico, right? So I need to come to the location and change the scope to Brazil. I have here the country option. So I use single quotes, BR or Brazil. Now the country is complete and I can change the colors if I want. For example, let's say that I want to color each, each state with a different color. We have two schemes here. So the first one is using 12 colors and the second would be with 100 different colors. We can also color it using a measure. So let's use it here. For example, count the number of codes of city codes for each state. As you can see, we have 853 cities in this state, which is the maximum, and the lowest would be one for the federal district right here. We can change the color scheme to the gradient and so on. And we can also use an expression. Let's say that I want to color only one state with a condition, for example, if the state is equal to by year, using single, single quotes here, color it red, otherwise green. And there we have it. We can change the, the borders from them. So as we can see, the opacity here for the dimension, let's color it here by state, use persistent colors. With this, when we filter one state it won't change the the color okay so we can change the opacity here and also the outline color so we can make the bar the borders disappear i will leave it set with the measure with the number of cities for each state and create here a new map just to explain another idea so here i will add a new layer but using the city code, okay? Click will automatically recognize the city code from Brazil. By default, it will only show a thousand objects. So I need to come here in the options and change the max visible objects to 6,000 because Brazil has almost 6,000 6, cities. I could do the same and change the color here using another expression or by dimension. So if I use the dimension, for example, using the state column, I could color every city by its state with the same scheme from the previous example. Now if I click done editing, I can filter a state right here and it will show me all the cities. I could also color it by region. One observation is when I hover the mouse on each city, I can see only this, the city code, right? Because that's the main dimension that we have. But I can also change in here. So I come to the data, the dimension instead of city code, I use the city name. But in this case, I need to concatenate it with the state because we have cities with the same name in Brazil, the entire country. If I use only the city name, it would show me only one city when it comes to the entire country. So I need to concatenate to have a unique value. So let me just change it here with city in the label. Now, if I hover the mouse, I can see the city name. 
Now let's merge both of these maps and create a condition that if I have a state selected, it will show me all the cities from this state. Otherwise, it will only show the states. Okay, so edit. I will delete this one and create the same map, but using another layer right here. Add layer using the city code. All right, now I have all the cities right here. But going back to the first layer, as you can see, I can change it and put one over the other. Inside the state layer, let's come here. And in the option section, we have the layer display option. So what's the calculation condition that we, we want to use? If I have one state selected, do not show me the layer. For that, let's use the get selected count function using the state column and here equals to zero. In other words, only show me this layer if the if I do not have any selected state. Let's click apply and it's gone because the calculation condition is not fulfilled. We can hide the calculation message and that's it. Now we have only this layer selected. We can do the same for the city layer to save time and CPU. So let's come here and do the opposite, right? So show me this layer if the state, the count of state is greater than zero. Now with this, let's click done editing. If I don't have any state selected, it shows me only the state layer. Now, if I zoom in in this one, it shows me all the cities from the state. That's it for this video. I hope it helps you somehow. And if you like it, please hit the subscribe button and also like the video. Thanks a lot and see you soon.